Welcome back guys to the Hip Hop Report. I am your host Rambo Hustle and today we're actually going to switch gears a bit. Now, so we're all on the same page. Anytime you see these green borders around the screen, the episode is going to be more focused around the idea of creatives, artists, and people that have chosen the arts, music, and entertainment as a career path. So with that being said, let's dive into it. Now hip hop has traditionally been a business that is said to require 24 hours a day, seven days a week, 365 days out of the year. Every waking moment, you have to be grinding. You have to be hustling, working, and working for that next move. And although that does, does hold some truth, it is important to have some awareness around the idea that consuming yourself in your dreams and passions can be an extremely dangerous thing. I'll explain. As we're younger, it's a lot easier for our friends, our family, and our loved ones around us to support us, to push us in the right direction, and to promote our music if that's said direction that we chose. However, as we get older and people start to stack up responsibilities, bills, and different things that are going on in life, it becomes a lot harder for them to give you any kind of time or attention as people start to find their passions, their skills, the things that they're good at, where their careers take them. And of course, in the meantime, when most of your friends are pursuing some office job that has a pretty solid way of climbing the ladder or, or some sort of real estate job and whatever the case may be, and if you're working towards something in entertainment, music related, th there is no blueprint. It's really up to you. You have to build your own castle. And with that being said, naturally your progression through the business, unless you catch a big break, is going to be relatively slower. Why is that important? Well, that's important because as your friends start to become less engaged with what you are doing, because to them, you are not a professional artist. You are trying to make that and they respect that, hopefully. But that is not your career. So to them, this is a hobby that you have taken on to pursue as a potential career, though they may not actually see you doing that after a certain amount of time. Nonetheless, the important part is that if you get too consumed in what you're actually accomplishing, that you ignore the surroundings, your loved ones, your friends, your other acquaintances that at some point or another may have thought of or actually supported you, you run the risk of outcasting yourself from your own circle of acquaintances and friends. And of course, hip hop promotes the idea of, you know, do it on my own, no new friends, whatever the case may be, but I can tell you from first experience that these things are just fads. This is not actuality. Everyone has a team, and if you don't have a team, Unfortunately, whatever it is you're working on, however good you become at that trait, you're not going to make it that far without a foundation. Now, they say that it's lonely at the top. What they don't tell you is that it's lonely on the way up, and no matter how high you climb, falling down is even lonelier. This is Rambo Hustle with the Hip Hop Report. Just wanted to share my thoughts, maybe give you some feedback, and maybe some tips that will lead you into a brighter future. Peace, love, hip-hop.